Hi, so we just finished checking in our luggage. Easy naman pala yung check-in and um, process nila. It's fast actually. You just have to complete the requirements that you need in order to travel. So now we are just uh, waiting. It is now 10.04 in the morning. Our flight is at 12.15. So we have two more hours to spare. We left early because we thought it would take time to check the documents for the whole process. But yeah, it was fast. We got here at around 9, 9.15. Um, so far, the flight, according to the check-in counter, the flight is full. So yeah, everyone's going home. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. We'll just wait for our plane. So we just arrived at the hotel. Um, how long ago? <laughs> Siguro an hour ago. An hour ago. Uh, what time is it now? 3.45. It is 3.45 in the afternoon. So before we head... Hi, Mart. <laughs> so before we headed here sa hotel, we had our swab test first sa Red Cross. So they're gonna instruct us on the quarantine rules. We had our swab test. Dalawang nostrils yung sinwab sa amin. Sa Manila, it was just one. So I was like, Ugh. Anyway, after the swab test, we went straight to the hotel, checked in, and now my mom is calling. Wait. Anyway, sorry, that was my mom called because we don't have complimentary water right now in the room and nawala ng stock ng disinfectant ang hotel. Ayun, I, um, we're having disinfectant delivered water and my slippers because I don't have slippers. <laughs> anyway, and then we ordered food because we pa kami not lunch. It's 3.45. It's almost for the afternoon and then we'll be quarantined for siguro two days at most or overnight and then we will continue quarantine at home so we will just wait for the results of the swab test from red cross the email so we'll be waiting for their email so ayon i will see you after maybe i don't know yeah <laughs> i will see you later <laughs> hello everyone so i am back home so as you've seen from that vid from the short video um yes i am 
I flew back home to my province for Christmas and probably for work as well. Um, so this is a different kind of video, as you can see from the title. Uh, I just felt like I needed to do something different for the channel and for the content that I'm making because lately I've been feeling like super saturated with BL. <laughs> um, there are only a few shows that I'm willing to watch right now. It's It kind of feels like it went like this and now it's going... I sad to say it's... It's inevitable I guess. I feel like it's bound to happen like for a future show to uplift this quality once again but yeah um so i'm doing this video because i feel like i need a reset i feel like making reactions became so much of a routine for me like it felt like i wasn't doing it for the fun anymore of course i'm still i still enjoy doing reactions i love um watching of course because these are the shows that i relate to the most and i can see myself in these shows so i am not willing to stop just yet so i just feel like maybe i just need a break also i have been quite busy adjusting back home as well here because we're we are renovating the house so it's a bit cluttered and medyo magulo dito sa bahay ngayon. Um, we had two weeks of quarantine here at home. And then in that two weeks, I was not really, you know, I didn't really have, I didn't really do anything much. Before I came here, before I came back here, um, me and a friend were given this project to work on. Um, so during the two weeks, I was just, me and my friend were just working on that through online. That's what I've been doing for the two weeks of quarantine, as well as watching some stuff on Netflix. I finished Queen's Gambit. <laughs> I took a break from BLs because I feel so saturated. So I've watched some anime with my brother. Uh, we recently watched, uh, I recently watched a God of High School and Decadence and we're watching continuing Black Clover and Golden Kamui Kamui yeah there are some other anime that I want to watch as well but I can't remember right now <laughs> uh, anyway um, what else that's mostly what I did for the past two weeks and of course eat I haven't been working out as much lately as well which I feel kind of guilty for my body I lost weight um my body, my body weight is has always been a long time insecurity for me. I have a struggle of gaining weight. So yes, I know most of the people have struggles losing weight. But ayon, there are people struggling to gain weight. So yeah, um, it's not just with the eating, of course. You need to accompany it with uh, exercise, which I have not been doing. I lost interest i guess i couldn't find the fun anymore in working out i terminated my gym account so working at working out at home i feel like i run out of stuff to do like it's i don't know i just i feel like i need a trainer maybe i don't know we'll see as i'm recording this it would be like past two weeks my quarantine already so i was able to go out me and my friend have been going out canvassing materials and that's what's taking most of my time throughout the day so I just why I couldn't film much as well so I'm working freelance as of the moment I don't have a full-time job yet the pandemic ruined my plans so I was supposed I think I've mentioned this so many times but yeah I was supposed to take my board exams for interior design last june since the well, since the pandemic happened that did not push through and i don't know guys i have been so it's always in the back of my head i don't think i'm going to be taking the boards this year so 
I feel like I want to earn some experience first and try working first. Because it's been two years since I've graduated and I have not had that much working experience. The, the pressure sometimes is gets to me. This pandemic is... <laughs> Stuff going on with me personally. Some people asked me like when they knew I was going back home and when they knew I arrived already. They were like, how's... Bacolod, how how's home? How's home treating you? And to be honest, I'm like, I yes, I miss the food, I miss my home, I miss this, I miss I miss the small city where almost everything is just 10, 15 minutes away from you. <laughs> um, but also being back home, living with my parents again, it feels like. I'm in between a teenager and an adult. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, yeah, back in Manila, since they weren't, they weren't there, it was just me and my brothers. We didn't have to ask permission. <laughs> we didn't have to ask permission to go out. But of course, we still practice safety protocols. So being back home feels like I'm in between that sta- those two stages. I have to ask permission to go out and basically I'm not allowed to do whatever I want anymore. <laughs> so I get that it's from a place of concern, it's from a place of um, safety, it, uh, I get why they're concerned but you know, I can't take much more of being locked in the house. <laughs> um, ayon, that's. Just, it's just very confusing, I guess. 2020 is so weird. This year has been such a weird year. Adulting sucks. <laughs> That's odd. <laughs> Adulting sucks. It's hard. I don't know. Living with your parents and adulting at the same time. I don't know how to do it. It's just the pressure, I guess, of wanting to live on your own and wanting to provide and wanting to be more independent that time will come you know it's it's just the impatient side in me that's <laughs> pressuring myself i guess yeah that's what that's mostly what's been going on with me and my life yeah, i'm just updating you guys i want to get to know you guys more so in order for me to do that i have to open up myself as well and ayon i wanted to do a video that tells more about me uh, aside from the reactions and if you guys remember i asked a month ago <laughs> i asked you guys to ask me anything i am sorry yeah i th- two months ago it was like around october i asked this or around the first week of november i posted on instagram and twitter i am so sorry that i'm just answering these questions now because to tell you guys honestly that was the time Ooh, okay the light okay wait the light there that's better so to tell you guys honestly um i'm recording in this q and a for like the fifth time like the first tries i did um failed me because number one it was taking so long because i wanted to do it while doing my Mad Hatter makeup, which I went as during our Bros Halloween special. Some of the questions are from Instagram, some are, some are from Twitter, so the ones from Twitter I will know, but the ones from Instagram, I'm sorry, I won't, I f- I won't be able to remember who sent this. Anyway, so the first question is, what's your current least favorite Pinoy BL series? Aba, grabe. Um, starting off with the first question. <laughs> least favorite okay so right now as i am filming this it is december december 11th so uh, around the time this was asked some of the bls that came out weren't there yet but among among the shows among the series that i've seen my least favorite okay my least favorite would be in between uh, i have my reasons okay um, but I don't want to discuss that in detail here in this video. Least favorite does not mean that I hate the series, okay? It's just, it does not, it did not really appeal to me. 
there you go. So next question, next question. Are you single? I mean, I, I remember who sent this. Thank you so much, Je. Uh, yes, I am single. <laughs> Next question. Um, yes, I am single. I um. Do I have to explain myself? Uh, yes. Um, I am not really searching. Um, are you? Are you not really searching, Gio? Um, <laughs> who are you kidding? Anyway, no. Um, I'm not making first moves right now. Am I li- <laughs> Where is the lie? <laughs> if you see me on Twitter or on IG, I always like thirst over. Nagiging marup- I marupok over some people. But deep down, it's like, it's just a moment. After that, I'd be focusing on something else. Anyway, ayun. But you know, I'm open. That's the thing. Yun na lang. My goodness, I am open. I am not like, in- I am not actively looking, but I am open. Weird mojio. Anyway, next a Twitter question. This is from Skylar. So your skincare routine? My skincare routine is very simple. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll get my stuff. Wait, my skincare routine. So the first one, facial wash, or if I have makeup on, you double cleanse. So you do an oil cleanse first or a balm, and then I use this one. Lux Organics 99% Aloe Vera Brightening uh, vi- with Vitamin C. So this is my facial wash. And then after that, I go in with my toner. So I really love Lux Organics. Like, they're very affordable and I love their products. Um, I'm, my toner right now is the Lux Organics Whitening Repair Essence Toner. So this has niacinamide and licorice extract. So... I'm mostly using this because I have a lot of dark spots and I have some acne scars. So that's why. Uh, and then I have an exfoliator. I use this twice a week. So it's also <laughs> the Lux Organics <laughs> AHA BHA Miracle Toner. So this is an AHA and BHA. So th- those are exfoliants. So I use that twice a week. And then I use a serum. It's not here with me right now, but I use the Apothique Niacinamide 10% Serum. So I use that morning and evening. And then moisturizer. I don't use. I don't use moisturizer during the day. I feel too heavy. I feel like it's too heavy. I feel like it's too heavy with sunscreen on top. So I just use sunscreen um, during the day after the serum. So right now I am using. Fresh Skin Labs Jeju Aloe Ice Sunblock. This one. Ang tagal niya maubos, guys. So, I, I like this as well. So, although, I know my friend mentioned meron daw parang controversy to. I'm not sure. Like, they're saying the SPF 50 does not live up to its SPF 50. I will try to look into that. And if ever, I will look for a new one, I guess. But uh, yeah, I will finish this because it's Anyway, and then during the night, I use the same routine uh, except for the sunblock, of course. Uh, after the serum, I will use my moisturizer. I'm using the Fresh Skin Lab as a Fresh Skin Lab 98% tomato glass skin. So it's a soothing gel lotion. I It's not my favorite. I wanted to try it out. But yeah, I'm just finishing because it's so much. <laughs> Siguro around four months na to with me, and hindi pa rin siya ubos. And so ayun, that's my skincare routine. If you guys want me to do like a skincare video, comment it down below. I'm willing to do that as well. Next question we have from Ron Zach, eleven oh six. How will you celebrate your Christmas this year? P.S. Pabati na rin ha birthday ko na po on Friday. This was sent to me like months ago. I am so sorry. But belated happy birthday, Ron Zach. I am so sorry. Shocks. Yeah, okay. How will you celebrate your Christmas this year? I probably will just be here at home. We can't even put up that 
like our usual Christmas decorations because we're renovating. We can't even put up our Christmas tree. Uh, but we will be eating, I'm sure. <laughs> Siguro, we'll, we just, uh, my mom. I hope you can still hear me because of the rain. But yeah, my mom ordered some food for us and then she's planning to make like a, a what do you call that? Like the display of uh, cheese and uh, cheese and crackers. And then yeah, we'll just be spending Christmas here at home. We usually, during Christmas, we usually have my relatives over, my cousins over here or another tita's house. Um, also the same for New Year, but because of COVID, of course, we won't be able to do that. But yeah, that's how we'll be spending this year's Christmas. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> the freaking rain. Anyway, next question. Ice cold Aragon. Hi, Ice. S my gosh, this question. <laughs> Saan mo dadalhin si Ali King? For a date and why? Just Lord. <laughs> a date, a date, a date. Uh, I for dates, for usually, mga first dates. I, I like to keep things simple. Ayoko ng pabongga bonga na I I don't really like extravagant first dates or what. Like a movie, a lunch, like a lunch date and a movie is okay already for me, for like a date. But for Ali, if I were still in Manila, gusto ko mag road trip with Ali. I don't know why. <laughs> like, I just wanna go on a road trip and play Taylor Swift songs in the car and talk about life and while we're driving, yung, um, Pahawakan niya yung ano ko, yung kamay ko, ganon. Ah! <laughs> Tapos, ayun, um, siguro we'll make a stop over just to eat or something. And then, um, I don't know, Ali, depends on you if you want to, if, if you're more of a beach person or like a, um, 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 a mountain person? Mountain? <laughs> uh, anyway, ayun, it depends where we're gonna go. So, ayun. Uh, ayun na lang. Um, where, I don't have a specific place, but, yeah. Siguro, along the way, along the road trip, yun na lang, di ba? Possibilities are endless! Pak! Ay, nako, ang rupok mo! Next question. Ah, Tito Gas. Hi, Tito Gas. Um, hashtag ask Gio, sino reactor ang crush mo? Ooh. <laughs> I, I have two. Okay, I have two in mind, Tito Gus. And I am so shy to mention them here. But oh well, sige na, why not? Uh, number one is g -Fan, And number two is... Okay, si Kuya Sid. Next! Joy! Hi, Joy! Sa paanong paraan mo maipapakita ang support sa LGBTQIA plus community? Uh, for me, okay, the first thing that came into my head when you when you talk about support, uh, the first thing that came into my head was how I felt living here with my family, with my parents, mm, before they confronted me about my sexuality and before saying that yes, they're okay with it. But you know, for me right now, even if they say that they're okay with it, we never talk about it. We never, I can barely open up to them about this. So I guess uh, one way for you to show your support is to open up, you know, you open your mind, open yourself to conversations about the LGBT. Even, you know, even watching these series, even watching these BL series or, or media in general, for me to know that you support who I am, we have to be able to openly talk about this, right? 
I hope I answered that well. There are a lot of other ways for you to show your support. People have to be open about having these conversations and not e not just for the LGBT community for people in general you know um, meaningful conversations okay next question Gabby this is from Gabby so if you're going to be casted on any PHBL series ongoing or finished what series will it be and who do you want as your partner love you Gio thank you love you too excuse me like, can they mix and match BL series and actors? Well, girl, if you ask me, oh come on, it's <laughs> Boys Lockdown, Ali King. Um, but I also want a, a, a mix of um, Gaia sa pelikula in there. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how that's gonna work. So Boys Lockdown x Gaia sa pelikula. With Ali King and Alec Kevin and the pancakes. Grabe yung cast na. Just go. I'm over my head. Anyway, ayun lang. Um, basta partner ko si Ali King, okay na ako. I am whipped. Ay nako. Anyway, uh, next question. Current song you bop to? Oh, okay. Um, currently. I've been listening to, of course, a lot of Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift and Betty Who. So, aside from those, I also listen to, of course, my K-pop. Um, Mago by G-Friend. Love Killa of Monster X. Home Run, 17. Uh, Dynamite. What else are my bops? You Ah! You Ah's album from Oh My Girl, You Ah. Bon Voyage and the rest of her songs in that album. He, my goodness, I love them all. Aya, Mama Moo, of course. I have a lot of songs I bop to. Uh, these are the songs I listen to in the shower and I dance to in the bathroom. <laughs> this is from my friend from Australia, Shannon. I miss you so much and I hope you're safe. How long have you been practicing your makeup skills? Not very long. <laughs> I'm new to makeup. I've been hiding it for so long. It was not until like around the third year or fourth year of fourth year I guess of my college days that I was opening up to makeup and actually putting on makeup. From Akosi Regor Regor? I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing these wrong. Was there a time that you needed to fake a reaction? Cause the show or episode is not that interesting. So far I haven't had to fake a reaction. I don't see the need to fake a reaction. Like if if I don't react, I don't react. There was this one time I I had a mishap. I was not able to record a video for one episode of Boys Lockdown. So I watched the whole episode not knowing the camera was not recording. So I wanted to record it again. But then when I asked my friends about it, they were like, it's okay for you not to record. It's not gonna be genuine, your reactions. Like, what will you do in the video if you won't react to it? You just, like, siguro magiging commentary na lang siya. But yeah, I decided not to upload because it won't be genuine. I don't fake reactions. Fake reactions. What kind of a reactor does fake reactions then? Like, it, But thank you for this question because I know how people see that. People, that. That's also another reason. People will see if you're faking it. Uh, this is the last question from John. Uh, hi John, I hope you're doing okay. I'm sorry for answering this late. <laughs> anyway, um... Sinong tatay mo? <laughs> okay, uh, who are your living and non-living inspirations? Off the top of my head, I immediately think of the people in the arts. The people in... <laughs> right now, K-pop. <laughs> uh, not just... Not just the... Like, the persons in general. The way they do their productions, their music videos, the way they do their songs, their lyrics. I know they're in Hangul, but when you read the English translations, I, uh, even though I, I watch React to the K, um, so they're mus musicians who react to K-pop, 
and the way they analyze the music, the songs, like it, there's this, it's different. And then of course the music videos, the visuals, the the productions, their stages, their how do they come up with these concepts? Like it, I sometimes get inspired by the, the set designs. For me, as a interior design graduate, I have inspirations. I get for different areas of my life, for you know, like um, lifestyle and um, makeup. I really admire Ivan Lam, John Ray, Mama Ho. I really love Edward Avila as well. Um, anyway, thank you guys for. Um, you're sending in those questions. If you have more questions that you want to ask me, feel free to comment them down below in the comment section. Um, thank you guys for spending your time. This is just like a chill sit down session video. Uh, I'll try to make more of these. I this is more laid back, you know. Aside from the reaction videos. Oh my gosh, it's raining really hard. Anyway, so. That's all for this video. If you like these kinds of videos, please let me know if you want if you have other ideas maybe if you want to see some content in this channel, uh, feel free to uh, comment those recommendations and if you have any questions, maybe we can do a part two of this Q and a. Um, so yeah, that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one. It's getting really noisy. Bye.